Hello everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. <laughs> My name is Anthony Weiss. Uh, some of you may know me already. I am the creator of the show Woman. So it's been a while. I wish to do this documentary to talk more about my project and just explain more to all of you that are interested or feel called by it. So I would just say a little something in French. Uh, je ferai aujourd'hui ce documentaire en anglais, car l'anglais est un peu une langue uh, internationale de nos jours, mais il y a des sous-titres. Donc voilà, c'est à votre convenance. Voilà. I was just saying that I was doing this video in English even if I'm French native. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> let's start. So, um, so yeah, some of you may know this show that came out in January 2018 with its first version and that came out again in July 2019 with the latest version, which should be almost the last one yes <laughs> so I will just talk to you about what this show is about and where it comes from first so basically some of you know I I am an artist circus dance sound artist and uh, been on stage since a very young age and um, my career let's say started 10 years ago after I finished the National Circus School of Montreal as swinging trapeze artist and um, so it's been 10 years of career all around the world and so I was mostly interpret but sometimes with my acts and that's it I was already in a move, mouvance, I don't know, in a mood of uh, bring my own print in my acts. So some things, it was always related to how I f felt with the world, but you know, I was always hired by other people. So there was always a certain limit to where I could go. So many years ago, I started to think and I was not happy really of where I was. Um, I was performing, yes, but for what? I was really, yeah, I needed something. I really needed something deeper in my artistic expression. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should start my own project. So I started to reflect on this. I don't know, it was maybe 2012, 13, after I did the Paris festival with my trapeze act and I had a really had a kind of a breakdown and I was really questioning all this and I was like okay I think I should start my own project but it took me a while you know I was reflecting and I was like I, there's many people I want to work with but at the same time there's many things I want to talk about so if I share with other people it's gonna become something else so that's I was reflecting all this and for me as as uh, let's say a very sensitive person, I was really I was really concerned by what's around me, yeah, what's happening in the world, and how can we change it? How can we make it better? You know, and I guess my tool is the arts, the stage arts. So I was, for me, it was indeed so important to. To, to express that and to bring something, to bring some vibes that will help people somehow. So that's it in, what were you? So 2014, basically after many, many attempts of writing things, I wrote the show, which is called Now Uman. Back then I called it Phoenix. So it was, uh, it was and it is still. A journey from darkness to light, talking about the human and the world right now, and um, talking about transcendence, you know? How can we go from darkness to light and to re-emerge and to rebirth? Can I say that? I don't know. In English. Um, so basically, yeah, it was really a question of how can we solve our, our problems, you know? How, how can we change? How can we stop what we're doing which we're doing many things wrong nowadays right so that's it in 2014 i wrote this show and so from that i 
started to build a production and founded a company named Unati. Unati, which means uh, elevation in Sanskrit. So yeah, this company uh, came to light 2015 and we did our first residencies for this first piece. So basically at first, uh, it was, I decided, yeah, like I said, no, maybe not. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I decided to do a solo, basically a solo show because I, for me, if I was going to go with other people, it would have become something else. So I decided to do a solo show, compose the electronic music and also be accompanied by a musician, a live musician. So at that time I was really obsessed by the strings, you know, by cello, by violin. And so I looked for a cello player and I asked a few people that I know and I had a few people I talked with and then I ended up uh, starting a collaboration with Mulik Stenfeld, which is an Israeli uh, cello and musician player, musician, I'm sorry. And so we did the first type of creation in 2015, we did five weeks of uh, residency basically, to, to, yeah, to make your first version of all this. Um, so five weeks and then our path split apart because we are not I would say a line in the same way of creating and then I took a long break of a year and I was like you know I okay that was the first step because I was the first project the first direction which is really hard to get all that together and um, so I took like a year and I had other things going on at that time and I was really hoping to meet a new musician because I want to share the stage with somebody because I didn't really see myself at that moment being alone on stage and carry all that. So I was really calling for that and in 2016 I went to like a sound bath which was my first time in, near Avignon in France and uh, I was one of my best friends and we went to see a concert with his brother and there was many many people all around playing music and and all of a sudden I was in meditation or in sleep or I don't remember exactly but I heard the a voice, the voice of this woman that really went through me, like through my heart and I was like whoa what is this? I was like really shaken you know and a friend of mine told me about this woman which her name is Josiane, Josiane Fromont and, and yeah I just like felt her and I was really, I don't know it was hard to find a world really <laughs> so I went to her at the end of the of the sound bath and I just went to see her basically she's more she's a healer she's a, we can call her occidental shaman um, so I went to see her to do session with her you know and at the same time I started to think I was like whoa I think in the show woman I think it would really fit for me it was I was, it's like I, I've been dreaming of finding someone like this and I, I think that person was just there in front of me. So I talked to her about it and I was like, proposed her the project, show her the teaser that I had and explain her and she said yes. Because basically the show, the creation I was putting into, into form was, is talking about exactly the same way that she does with people basically bring people from darkness to light you know and free the sufferings and free all the all the hurt and just yeah come back to to restart to something new to yeah to be in peace with your, yourself yeah can I say that like that 